All right, last section in our, our class here. We're going to talk about how we multiply polynomials. Now, we've added them, we've subtracted them, we've done all the exponent work. Right now, we're going to talk about how to multiply them. Fortunately for us, you've seen part of this before. In fact, we've, we've seen this idea called What's that called? Distribution. 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 Do you remember distribution? Yes. Guess what? If you know how to distribute, you know how to multiply polynomials. We'll take a look at, at the distribution we've, we've already had. I'll extend that concept to something new that we haven't had, and then that will be it for today. So here's the idea of distribution. It was if you have some quantity, something outside of a parentheses, And you have a polynomial inside that parentheses. Notice that we have a polynomial here. How many terms are here, folks? Two. Two. We can actually bless you. Need a tissue? Yeah, you have any? No, I don't. Oh, I do. I do. It's clean. I swear. Why is it gross? I didn't. Anyway, continue. We learned how to distribute a long time ago. Basically, when you have a, a term outside multiplied by a polynomial inside of those parentheses, we can get rid of those parentheses by the process called distribution, which means that we take our A, we multiply it by our B, and we get A times B, and we do, do we, do we also do the A times the C? Yes. And we do that with the signs taking care of themselves. Hopefully you remember that. A positive times a positive gives us a positive. So we would put a plus A times C. We do the A times B. We do the A times C. That's our idea for distribution. Do you remember that? We've been doing it for a while now. Let's do a couple simple examples and we'll build up to some things that we haven't seen quite so far. So, something we have seen before. We've got 3 times x minus 4. Can you tell me what two things am I going to multiply together first? Three. So, 3 times x, and I'll, sure, I'll give it 3x. Then I'm going to take that 3, remember what I've had you do, is I've had you circle that number in front of our parentheses and distribute it. Because I need you to know that that sign goes with it. You remember talking about that, how the sign goes with it? So, this is positive 3 times positive x. That's why we get a positive 3x. This is positive 3 times this one we actually consider to be a negative 4. We consider it negative 4 because you could write it as plus a negative. That's the only reason why we do that. But the signs will take care of themselves. So can you tell me what is positive 3 times negative 4? Negative so what am I going to write? I'm going to write minus 12. That negative idea stands for minus. Again, because you could write it as plus negative and translate that back to a minus. So 3x minus 12. Raise your hand and feel OK with this so far. All right. Now here's what we haven't covered yet. And you're going to be able to see that this is going to combine a couple ideas for you, actually several ideas for you. What if instead of having a 3 out there, I had something like a 5x? Instead of having just like an x minus 4 inside my parentheses, I had something like a 4x squared plus 7. Now, can you still see that distribution would work here? Do we still have the same idea? How many terms are inside your parentheses? Yeah, what are they? What's outside? So just like we multiply the 3 times the x and the 3 times the negative 4, we're going to multiply times each of those terms. Now I'm going to write it out because I want you to see where this is coming from. Check this out. If I've got my 5x times my 4x squared, I did my 3 times x, that's how I got 3x. So here, look what's going to happen. See how this is going to combine a couple ideas. This is 5x times 4x squared. Are you okay with the, where the 5x times 4x squared is coming from? Give me a head nod if you are. 
Okay, that's just our basic distribution idea. Now, how about this? Am I going to have a plus or a minus next? Plus. Plus. Good, because I have a positive times a positive. Are you with me on this? Yes. So plus 5x times 7. Or 5x times or 7. You can't forget a term. You've got to multiply the outside one times each of the inside one, no matter how, much, how many there are. Hey, now, now check this out. This is the cool part. Have you done problems like that before? Have you done problems like that before? Sure. Now this is going to combine our, our last section. This is 10.2 stuff. So here, this is 10.3. This is 10.2. How much are you going to get from 5x times 4x squared? 20x. 20x. To the third, great, because you're multiplying. Remember that? Multiplying x times x squared, you're going to get x cubed out of that. This is why I was so hard on you guys last section saying, when can you do certain things? When you add them together, do you add exponents? No. When you multiply them together, do you add exponents? Yes. That's why I made sure you understood that going into your homework, because now we're putting it all together. <coughs> okay, plus sign still going to be there. How about 5x times 7? I'm just going to get 35x to the first power. We don't have to write the one. Last question. Can you combine now, ladies and gentlemen? Look at the board. Can you combine these? Can you get something like 55x to the fourth? No. That's something you got to know. What do you think? You would like that? Are they like terms? No. no. Now, you can multiply terms if they're not like terms. That's fine. But you can't add them. You cannot add them. So can you do anything past this? No. You're done. You're done. That's it. Can you multiply things that don't look the same? Yes. Can you add them? No. no. So that's where the difference comes in. You sure you're okay? Yeah. I'd like you to try one on your own here real quick. Do this on your own. Make sure that we're following these steps. Show me all the work for right now. Trust me, show me the work. Don't do this in your head yet because you're just learning it, right? Show me those, those steps. That way I can see where you're going wrong on your homework and help you next time. There you go. So we're just on this one, we'll do that one together in just a second, okay? So hang off on that one, hold off on that. Just doing this. Are you guys done on this one? Yes. Let's see what we got. First thing I want to see on your paper, I want, you, I want to see is circling that term outside those parentheses. I want you to see those arrows distributing it. So we know one, two terms are going to get multiplied by the four y. So the first term that we're going to have after we distribute is four y times eight y squared, for right now, I want you to write that out. Now, in the future, when you get to math A and math C, look up here at the board. In the future, when you get to those classes, are you going to show this step? Are you going to show that step? No, probably not. You're going to go directly from here to here. Do you think you can do that when you get there? Yes. Yeah, probably. But for right now, I want to see the work. Because we're just learning this, I need, just, need to sh you to show that, all right? So we've got 4y times 8y squared. Then we're going to have a positive times a positive. That gives us plus. 4y times 5y. Raise your hand if you made it that far. Good. Then you have down the idea of distribution. That's great. That means you know it. Now we've got to apply the 10.2 step that we just learned. 4y times 8y squared. Y'all tell me how much is it? that? 32y. To the, to the third. Great. Did you get to the third power? Not another squared, right? Because we know when we multiply those common bases, we actually add the exponents. And there's a little 1 right there. So we said the y to the first plus... Uh, or sorry, times y to the second means 1 plus 2, that's our third power. Then we have a plus here, and we get how much? 20y. Oh, good. Yeah, you, you found it out. 
If we do y times y, we better be getting y squared out of that, right? Each of them have a power 1. If you add those, you're going to get y to the second power. Can you keep going? No. Oh. And you're done right there. Little head nod if you got that far. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Good, all right. Now, wait a second. Does it work if I have more than just two terms? Why not? Yes. Well, let's try it. Means not just the first one, not just the second one, all the way to the third. So when we write this out, we're going to have 12y. Oops, I, I broke my own advice. We're going to have 3y times 4y squared. That's our first times our first. Then we've got a 3y times a 5y. That's positive, so we put a plus. 3y times 5y. Now, next, should I have a plus still or a minus? Good, and the reason why is because I have a positive 3y times what we consider to be a negative 9. I write minus, look how this works, please. Watch on the board very carefully. Do it this way. You're going to do your signs first because I told you the signs take care of themselves. So when you write this, watch exactly how I write this. I'm going to have a positive 3y times a negative 9. That's where I'm getting that minus from. Are you, are you okay with that? Because we, can, we write negatives as minuses because you could write the plus negative and then change it to a minus. Then look what I do. I write my 3y times not negative 9 anymore, but positive 9. Do you see why? It doesn't matter. You've already sense. taken care of that sign. Do you with, are you with me on that? You've already done it. You've already done the positive times the negative. You've already done that. You don't need to do it again. If you do it again, you're going to change that sign back. That would be the wrong thing to do. So you get your 3y times 4y four, four squared, great. You got a positive, so we're going to run a plus. 3y times 5y, we got it. Then we go 3y times negative 9, that's where the minus is coming from, that negative right there. But we don't have to have that again. We've already taken care of the sign. How many people understand why we don't have another negative sign there? That's a big question. I need your hands raised if you do get it, and don't raise if you don't get it. Still not so much? Yes, no? Why? Yes? Okay. Now we need to do the work piece by piece. How much is 3y times 4y squared? Oh, oh, y Good. Then we have a plus sign. We leave it as a plus sign. How much? Y squared. Lastly? That's it. Can you combine any of those? No. They're all different. They're not like terms. OK, I want you to try one of your own. Then I'm going to change the problem just a little bit. And we'll, we'll talk about it after that. So here's your example. Go ahead and work that one out. Did you make it? Make it. All we gotta do is distribute. You gotta make sure the term outside gets multiplied by every 